the certification of live birth presented by the Obama campaign is, without a doubt, a forgery. I'm Dr. Ron Polaric, and uh, I have a PhD in instructional media. And my expertise is in computer graphics and the use of computer peripherals, such as printers and scanners, to input digital images into the computer. I've done a lot of work with reading web pages where image size and image quality are very important. I'm fully qualified to spot inconsistencies and anomalies in images, especially digital images, given my expertise. I submitted my findings along with a sworn affidavit of who I am so that it could be used to uncover the truth about these forgeries. I'm concealing my identity because I've received threats from people who are loyal to Obama and who don't want the truth to be known. On June 12th, the blog known as the Daily Coast posted an image that was purported to be the original birth certificate of Barack Obama. I had learned about the story accidentally through WorldNet Daily. And when I went to look at the image, something looked strange about it. Something did not look right to me. When I enlarged the image and took a look at the text, that's where I spotted anomalies in the text that could only have been made if someone had intentionally altered the text that had been there. I immediately recognized this as a graphically altered image. In other words, someone had covered up the existing text and typed in new text right over it. The certification of live birth is a graphically created image. It's not a form. And it's printed upon a very thin green patterned paper. When you look at the image of this document, you should be able to see clear black text on a green background. There should not be any gray and white pixels in between the letters, because obviously you have black print on the green background. There should be green between the letters. The problem that I found is that there were no green between the letters. There were only gray and white pixels, which are dots of color. What's strange about the border on this certificate was that it was blurry. It was not in the same level of detail as the rest of the certificate. That can only mean it was applied on top of an existing image that had a higher detail. In other words, it was not part of the original document image. I know that because the border did not share the same level of detail as the rest of the document image. That means that it was created separately and added at a later time. One of the most prominent things that should have been on this certificate image is the seal of Hawaii. This is a metal stamp that's pressed into the paper and is embossed, so you should be able to see that on a document scan. The seal is not visible. However, that did not stop other people from making it visible using image enhancement. That, in fact, made people believe that it was genuine, given that someone was able to make the seal show. The problem with using image enhancement to find these features is that it really doesn't tell you much about them other than they're present. I already knew that the original source for this document image was a real document at some point. I was just convinced that it was not Barack Obama's certificate. It's very easy to take a portion of the background from one certificate image and overlay it or paste it on top of another. To the average eye, you would never tell the difference. To the trained eye, you would. In other words, this particular document image was put together with pieces from other document images, pasted together and made to look like one whole image. In the certification of live birth that was purported to be of Barack Obama's birth certificate, there was only one fold line when there should have been two. The reason for that is that paper documents are trifolded and mailed in plain envelopes so that there should be two folds visible. In the image, there was only one fold visible at the top. Even though some graphic artists were able to make the seal appear, the fact that there was no fold line, no second fold line in this document image can only have been the result of somebody covering it up with a portion of the background from another image. The final question on this image was not answered until two months later when fact check allegedly took photographs of Obama's certification of live birth. 
As a security measure, borders are changed every year to a different pattern. When the 2008 certifications came out, they had a different border and, as it turns out, a different seal and signature stamp. Those two features are the most prominent ones on a real certificate. Fact Check and the Obama campaign colluded to produce nine forged photographs. I know these photographs are forged because on this document image is a 2008 seal, a 2008 registrar stamp, but a 2007 border. Without a doubt, these photos are forgeries. Okay, let's connect the dots. The document image that was posted in June is a forgery because there are strange white and gray pixels between the letters, because the border on it is blurry, because the second fold line is not there. And the photographs are also false because they show 2008 features on the 2007 certification of live birth. Therefore, both the original document image and the photographs purported to be of that document are forged.